Okay, cool. That's all done. Sorry about that. Just had to clear some things up. All right, so you guys keep going closer, right? Um, it, how close is Tudugub to the rest of you all? I'm with Vincent. Vincent are together, right? So it's yeah. elves and then Tudugub and Vincent? Mm -hmm. they're, they're within eyesight of us, but uh, like as far back as they can be while still keeping us in, in sight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, you guys start crawling through the, the hills. Um, this is during the day, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and two or three hours after, you know, making your way up this hill and then kind of down again and up this hill and like waiting for them, it's kind of, you know, you don't go very far in the, the three hours that you guys are doing this, but after about three hours... Brigger and Abigail uh, climb up a hill, and they see, you guys looking down, you see a a small palisade wall, maybe five feet tall, maybe five and a half feet tall, uh, thirty feet wide in a semicircle around a like a cliff face on a hill that looks like it's been carved away, and there's a, a doorway built into it. Like there's a door in the hill on the other side of the palisade wall. And you notice that there are two goblins outside um, that look kind of miserable talking to one another on the inside of the palisade wall. Mm. So I, I turn to Abigail and I say, this, <clears throat> this looks like a, a guard setup. We should wait here for Tadagab and Vincent. I agree. So we wait for them to come by. Okay. And then they see. <laughs> So what okay. do you guys want to do with this? So it kind well, of looks like we found our base, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Um, I kind of. You think it's the main one, or do you think it's like a side thing? I look at Abigail and say, "How the fuck would I know that?" <laughs> <laughs> look back at Jeff and kind of just sit there and think, and then I propose the idea of the two elves shooting at the same time to take out both guards in one shot. Mm-hmm. Can you do it? All right. I'm down. So they, yeah. So let's do that, and then uh, <laughs> I guess we're just going to enter in, right? Okay. I mean, there's it's a little ways off. You know, it's not just around the corner. You guys are at the top of a hill. It's at the base of the hill, so it's probably, you know, 300 feet away. Which is, you know, so... within range of your bows. Or bow position. has yeah. no penalty. Abigail's bow is at minus five to hit at that range. No, no, we get in a position where they can hit the shot without a penalty. And... Yeah. Um, there's no real cover on the hill. So to do that would risk being seen. Mm. The object here is to not be seen. So. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, if we miss really badly, they won't see anything. <laughs> Vincent, just shoot? be prepared to charge at them when these two miss their shot. Oh, I'm always ready. Yeah. Yeah. You guys sure you don't want to dig a ditch or something this time? <laughs> nope. Is there is there a way for them to go around? Or, like, to get to the goblin guards, are they definitely going to see you? If you guys took enough time to, like, go down the back of the hill, go all the way around. If you took, like, two hours, you could probably... An hour, hour to two hours, you could probably go down and around and then back up this other side of the hill that they're on, or under. It's possible. Would you rather go around, guys? An another question is, can I fire two shots really quickly? Um, what do you, like, in... Like, since, since we're not in combat, like, could I... I... You know what, um, I'll give you your first shot at without a penalty. And mm -hmm. then for your second shot, uh, a minus four penalty for just doing it really, really quickly. Hmm. I could do it. And if I did do it, it'd be pretty epic. But I also think we could just walk around. And that'd be yeah, it's the middle of the day, right? We don't have to worry too much about time. Like right. two hours. Yeah, it's the middle of the day. I say let's walk. Okay, let's do that. So everyone goes? I'm going to yeah. wait here. Mm. What? Are you sure... I think you should come with us, man. Yeah, you should. You're just walking over to the other side? So oh, we can hell? surprise the goblins. Yeah, but if we run into problems along the way or something, the, the, stuff, the plan can change. I don't want you two hours away from us. Okay. I'll go with you guys. But I'm going to stay behind. I'm not going to be up in the front. 
Because obviously, okay. like I said, I'm not too stealthy. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Going around. While looking for, like, any, like, info that could be useful. Okay. AKA so ferrets. 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 <laughs> Or real info that could be useful. You see a family of, uh, uh, what do you call them, weasels. It's not quite a ferret. I actually um, see a family of weasels. No, you don't see any weasels. Oh. No. That's um, nice, so man. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I was done for a weasel, man. It's I... pretty cute. <laughs> You you guys take your time. You sneak all the way around, back up to the top of the hill that they're on, and you are you guys all get up there, except for Tudagub who's hanging behind you guys for a little bit. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys, take that shot. I wanted the flock of birds. Okay. Right. So total <clears throat> plus four to hit. So twenty plus ten, I guess. Is your total. Yes, you're For both, both of us? All right. For both of you at this range. 24. D20 plus 10? Yeah. I got 24. That uh, is a hit. Um, yeah. Time 25. Shots. 25. Holy crap, guys. <laughs> Double you're shot. Dead. Through the head. Yeah. <laughs> so, Abby, you clear by 11, which is, uh, since you didn't roll a natural 18, that's only a single crit. And so Brigger, what, you cleared by 16, which is 2d6. 4, 8, 12, which is a, a quintuple. A quintuple. Right? That's our first. No, there's no such thing. It doesn't go that high. It only goes to times 4 damage. Okay? <laughs> Screw you, only 4, Brigger. <laughs> only 4. No, no no 5 times damage dice here. Um, so so this is like playing Deer Hunter, where it's just the, the curse is like going back and forth. Yeah, I mean, it's a goblin. He's only got stud leather armor on, so his AC is 13, you know. And you're like sitting on the hill directly behind him with the magical enchanted bow, you know, and his back is to you. And you're just... So, Breger, if you guys can roll damage if you want now. And I Abby, 2d6. 2d6 for Abby, 46 plus, um, 46 plus 2 for D Bregor. 19. <laughs> um, okay, you guys both kill your respective targets. With four? Jeez. I mean, it, it, yeah, it downs him. He's not, you know, right. you could probably be revived, but he's gone. Okay. Yeah. I, I'd go for a high five with Gregor. I don't know if it's going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept your high five. Awesome. <laughs> You're All right, so we go down the, down the hill and we clear the bodies away and start okay. to formulate a plan about whether or not we're going to enter this place. <sighs> and then I propose to the group to formulate a plan to enter the place. I'm waiting for Neil to stop writing, then I'm going to ask yeah. a question. Oh, go ahead. No, I can hear your plan. I'm just oh, okay. in some small notes. Go so forward. what does the entrance to this this place look like? Is it just a normal cave? Yeah. Oh, no, there's actual wooden doors that have been, um, you know, the there's a, a wooden door frame that's been built into the wall, and there's a set of wooden doors that open outward. Double doors, French French doors, you would say, except they're not glass. Um. Want to open them up? How about before we formulate the plan, we take a break because it's been about an hour. Does that sound good? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So when we come back, we'll have a good three minutes to figure out how the fuck we're gonna get in here. Then we'll propose the plans. Uh, here we're on roleplay, so we'll be right back, guys. Not going anywhere. See you in uh, three minutes. Normally they sleep during the day, so I think if as best we should go in all quiet-like, and uh, at least kill as many as we can that way, you know? So, I agree. Should we send uh, the three of you to be stealthy with the kills and all kind of stay out <clears throat> and watch? Yeah, I, I, know, I definitely stealthy, think... Actually. You don't you think just going in full Well, I, I just mean I have a full plate of mail on, so I'm not... Oh, I'm you're not, not stealthy, okay. I see no, I'm saying. not stealthy. This is true. I think we should definitely scout it out, though, because the guys have said that there's hundreds of goblins. We've killed maybe 30. So there's probably still a good amount left. Good point. I agree. And we need to find out what the warg situation is because to be honest, I'm not that worried about goblins but the wargs are a pain in the ass. Good point. There might not be as many of those because 
uh, we, we've killed a lot of wargs, a lot of the raiders. Yeah, and this is like some kind of place where they stay, so maybe just, just have a couple of those. Mm. Okay. How about uh, Abigail and Bregor? You guys go in then and uh, very attentively scout out the situation then come back and report to us. Sounds, Sounds good. good to me. Okay. <clears throat> or we could so. we can just keep doing the thing where you guys follow within eyesight. Well, okay, so we'll lead. I don't want to be in the middle of the camp if another party yeah. rolls up and you guys are inside or something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. just just do this. Just very non-engagey. Go find out what's going on. Come back to us, and then we'll enter as a team. Okay. So we do this. Okay. Uh, I should note while you guys are hanging out where the goblins were killed, the place reeks. You notice that like the the goblins have no concept of hygiene. The guards literally like shat five feet where they were standing. There's like disgusting goblin warg poop everywhere. You know, it, the place is, does not is unpleasant. And this is fairly consistent with goblin behavior is that they are horribly unhygienic. So does my character get like bonuses for being happy amongst friends or? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. I had to ask. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So who opens the door? Um, I mean, there's two doors, so could be two people. I'll do a perception check at the door to see if I hear anything on the other yeah, side. Yeah, no, I'll do the detect noise and might as well do traps because, yeah, goblins are super smart, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Not really. I know. Probably no traps, but still, let's do it. Okay. So you don't hear anything at the door. Um... And you do not find any traps on it either. Because I have 20%, right? If I remove traps is 30%. 30. Ah. 30. Well, you, you have those, those gloves. Oh, that's so cool. I'm a super trap finder now. All right, Dish. I'm going to go up and slowly open one of the doors. Okay. Uh, it creaks pretty badly, to be honest. Okay. It's not the finest craftsmanship you've ever seen. <laughs> open <it> faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I open it up. Um, okay. Let's. This is what you see as you open the door. Do, 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 do. So you see an entrance. This is not. Is this um, where we're at? Scale. No, no, I'm sorry. You guys are. Whoops. Uh, up here at the very top. Mm, okay. And this is actually a ways in. Um, mm. In this scale, the each grid is not five by five; it's actually ten by ten. So, okay. the uh, this is actually a very large room. There's a lot of big space everywhere. Well, I mean, it's probably closer to seven by seven. Whatever, it's fine. Okay. It, it, I'm just saying the scale is a little bit larger than you're used to. That we sh than we should be used to. Um, so you opens up, it runs in for a bit, kind of gets a little bit bigger, and then narrows down, um, and then opens up into this large chamber with three exits. Mm -hmm. it, inside, is it is it light or dark? No, it is dark. The only light is what's coming in through the open door. But we see, right? Because we have You guys have infravision, so you can see. But yeah. goblins do as well, right? You're not sure, but probably if they're nocturnal. Right. Uh. Okay. So I, I was going to suggest that you should try and sneak through the shadows at this point, but they can yeah. just see us, so we don't. Oh, that yeah. that won't do anything. That won't do any good. I think at this point, because if say we start going down a path, we can easily get cut off from the. That's the very trips. true. We should come get them. Yeah, we should go back. So I'll I'll just run back and go get them. Okay. okay. So, oh, was it? Wait, wait, wait. Was there another door? No, that's all you guys see. Oh, okay. That's the only door that we can see from the outside. Mm hmm. Well, okay. there's no, there are no doorways. The outside door is the only door, period. Okay. Okay, gotcha. So I go get them. Okay. So as you guys walk in and you're t taking a few more minutes to look around, you notice that the front door, where the doorway is, you actually have like legitimate craftsmanship. And as you go in a little bit, it looks like the walls are being like smoothed. But once you get into the point, you know, five or six feet in, maybe you know, 
closer to 10, 15 feet in, it looks less um, man-made. It looks like this is a natural cave, and the goblins are like on the outside working to build it a little bit better. Mm. Tadagub, again, this is built to goblin scale, so you are way out of your league. Um, goblins are only... They're like three feet tall, right? Four feet tall. Okay. So the ceiling here is at like five and a half feet tall. So do so. I have to knee it again? Um, actually, it's a little taller than that. Uh, the ceiling is the ceiling's six feet tall. So you have to either like crawl on your hands and knees or just walk on your knees maybe. Let's do the walk on knees thing again. Yeah. Yeah. So you're having yeah, trouble. Yeah, sturdy knees. I'll go in last. Okay. Guess there is no retreating, huh? <laughs> nope. Okay, so you guys go in. Um, as you approach your elf eye... Uh, actually, um, Vincent and Tadagub, you don't have infravision. How do you see in the dark? I mean, for I now have my you torch. See, but you light a torch? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you guys go in a little bit closer, and you can see... More like this now. We do, we do. I'll whisper yeah. to the two elves and say, "Are are do you see bodies in here or?" I haven't seen anything yet. So I'm getting real tired of not being able to see shit. <laughs> well, you got the torch, yeah. Uh, Vincent, this... if you carry your torch, you can't carry like you can't have your torch and your shield at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Just a heads up. So I'll, I'll, I'll whisper to the party and be like, are you guys ready to fight? Yep. All right. I'm going to cast uh, Continual whoa, 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 Light whoa, whoa, whoa. inside of the cave. Um, well, as he does that, if he's going to cast some, some spell that lights up the room, I'm going to put the torch down and get my shield out. Are you casting it just in this area in general, or on a specific item, or how are you doing continue light? I want to cast it right there, where I just pinged. Uh, sorry, I was looking at the... Can you ping it again? I was looking at the spell description. Yep. So okay. I guess just like 20 yards in front of me. Okay, it's 60 foot radius. So light spills out... Cast there, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35... 40, but that's actually not exact. So light spills out to... Wait, is that right? Hold on, let me double check the, the exact description of the spell. Um... Okay, yeah. So it's fine, that's fine. So you can see out to about ooh, here now. And five, ten, fifty, twenty, up there. Up to here. And down to here. I'm probably out a little bit more like that or something. Alright. Do we see any bodies? <laughs> um So over to the right, your character's left. You see a cup. You see a bunch of goblin women and small children, like starting to rouse and like rub their eyes um, as light floods the cave. And over to the other side, you see what looks to be like fifteen or twenty sleeping wargs. <laughs> mm. uh, and down this bottom direction, you don't see anything. What What is right here? Like, how high is that? And what does the wall structure look like? Uh, it's about six feet wide, six feet tall <clears throat> at this point. The walls are just kind of um, curved and rounded a little bit. So maybe at their widest, it's closer to seven feet. But they come in towards like six feet at the bottom. And it just kind of curves like that. And then uh, becomes a full arch on top and then flat on the bottom. And is it is this all one level plane or does it descend ascend right there what what, what type of uh, it descends a little bit when you go further down but left and right seems to be more or less on the same height uh maybe a, f a few feet drop in an elevation as you get all the way out to the left but it's pretty minor all right 
So I say, guys, we got to do something quick. Those wargs aren't going to stay asleep for very long. Well, we're really good at killing women and children. We <laughs> kill ogre women. I say, no you know, problem. you have a point, but I don't think the wargs are going to care if they're male or female. They'll rather just kill us. Do we have uh, any way to make, like, fire? Jeff has a torch that he's putting away right now. <laughs> Throw it on the war thing. I somehow don't think that they're so flammable that we throw a torch at them and they all just burst into flames. <laughs> every war, every war you maybe, they, maybe they're really fluffy, you know? Yeah, maybe. Um, um, Tadaga, where's your alcohol? <laughs> Back in Yo, the buried body. Yeah, you're gonna have to ditch that idea. I'm sorry. Right, 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 the right. idea of setting fire to all the dogs <laughs> is not actually gonna happen. Um, so we'll be fighting. Well, we're in a tight, confined space. I mean, I, I say we back up to the and mouth of the cave, create a yeah. bottleneck. Exactly. I'm down yeah. with that. And make noise. Yeah. We'll put me or put you at the front. I'll be behind you. The two elves up as high as they can, so they can get an angled shot down. Yeah. Sounds good. I'm with that. So you guys go all the way back to the main entrance? Yes. To the bottleneck, yep. yeah. Okay. So you go all the way back to the main entrance where it's wide enough for two people. Oh, to that bottleneck. Yes, to I this one. I don't know if you guys meant that or all the way outside to where the doors are. We mean this one. I mean this one. Is this what you guys mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So at the doors, it's wide enough for uh, Bregor, I'm sorry, um, for Tudagub and Vincent to both stand and fight at the door. And if the elves were to hop on top of the palisade wall, they could shoot over Vincent at anything that came near him in the front. All right, that, All right. that works for me. Yeah, that sounds that's like a the good strategy setup. we're going for here. Okay, uh, as you, you guys start to bark back up, you hear barking and yelling and all sorts of like goblin language. Um, and pretty soon, f uh, a bunch of wargs are charging straight at you guys from the tunnel. From the tunnel, they're bounding right at you. Can I so, cast a spell on Jeff before they get to us, or do we got to roll for initiative? Uh, roll for initiative. Um, I mean, we I back got that long range, right? Yeah, you can you can do it before. All right, I'm gonna cast strength the stone on Jeff. Nice. So it's a one d four, right? I believe so. Fuck, it's a one, but I think that's still, still eighteen. Still puts me at eighteen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and I think eighteen just gives you an additional one damage. If I'm not mistaken. So plus five then instead of four. Yeah, let me just double check that. Eighteen, yeah, just an extra one damage. Cool. Okay. So they start bounding to you. Uh, let's do initiative rolls. Bregor. Bregor, you've been doing good today. All right. Love's good. Love is good. D10. Nice. Yeah! yeah! Party goes first. Um, Two uh, wargs, wargs, however you want to pronounce it, bound right up to Vincent and Tudagub, who are there, weapons ready. Uh, Vincent and Tudagub, make your attacks against your respective wargs. D20 plus 6, 20. 20 is a hit. D8 Warg. plus 5. Not a critical, right? Not a critical. Um, yeah, D8 plus 5. 7. 20. Jesus. So is it, it's just a 2d4, right? Yeah, just 2d4. 5. Nice. Five. And I'm going for a d20 plus 5, right? No, 6. Uh, plus 6. 20? Yeah. 20, d6 damage. Is against Jeff's warg, Vincent's warg. Uh, 1. To the most injured warg. Okay. <laughs> and Regor? Is it a d20 plus 6 as well? Yep. Thirteen. Or break or... It's a miss. Just <laughs> by one. There was a twenty streak going on, I broke it. I know, you're doing great. It's okay. <laughs> um so arrows loose, sword comes down, maul comes out, and the wargs bound to the uh, you know, the mesh of weapons, getting battered, but making it through to the other side. One of them takes a snap at Vincent. And you have your shield out now. Yep. So his teeth close around the edge of your shield and you rip the shield out of his maw. The other one takes a hunk out of... Or takes a clamp on... Uh, the, the JP... Uh, what's your character? Tudagub. He actually criticals Tudagub. Uh, Reroll the crit. I don't want to be crit. 
Okay. He does not want to be crit, Neil. <laughs> okay, all right, I got that. He actually just hits Tudagub this time. <laughs> nice. Tudagub, you take four damage. Oh, this could be a long fight. 29. All right, I'm going to swing at the... Or is it our turn now? Yes, you guys' turn now. I'm going to swing at the one that is fighting with me. Mm -hmm. D20 plus six. Nope, never mind. Moving on. <laughs> Somebody else do something. Thought it right. go. Right, D20 plus two, 17. 17 is a hit. Fucking warrior mage Four. Here. You crush at the... The, the war og, he seems particularly healthy and sturdy. Abigail and Regal. Uh, can we still shoot? Absolutely. Alright. Uh, 23. Ooh. 23 clears by 8. That's a critical 2d6. 6. 6. You shoot one of the war ogs in the eye, the war that Jeff is fighting, and blind hey, him. Hey. Blind him? Yeah, yeah he's Eleven. blinded. Miss. Brigger, you can't hit shit. <laughs> Your arrow sticks into the wall or the ceiling. This is a goblin killing bow. Where are the goblins yeah. at? <laughs> um, the blinded warlock goes into a frenzy and throws himself at Vincent, but you know, Vincent blocks with the shield and pushes him back. Uh, and the one against Tudagub goes for your ankles, but you, you manage to pick your foot up in time. I'm going to try to replace the eye socket of the blinded war with my sword. Okay. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. D20 plus 6. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> no. um, it's actually the worst. <laughs> okay. So one thing that I, I talked about in my last uh, Q&A or something like that was the, the critical fail system is normally I've just been rolling a save versus death for people when they roll one to see if something bad happens. But you guys have gotten the hang of this enough now that you can roll your own save versus death. So... Uh, roll a d20, no modifications, roll a 13 or higher. Oh. 10. Okay. So you stab at his claw or face, but he bites onto your sword itself with his teeth, and you guys need to make opposing strength checks to see if he pulls a weapon out of your hand. Okay. So d20 plus your strength, which is 18. 17. Right now. Oh, 18, right? Yeah. 27. <laughs> okay. You do manage to get your weapon out of his mouth, but you don't do any damage to him in the process. Cool. Sounds like a situation that would happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unhand my sword, foul beast. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Good um, boy. Tudagub. Yeah. Let's roll. Destroy the beast. Or let it kill you. You know, I'm impartial. 22. Straight 20. 22. Wow. Uh, clears by 8. Just barely. Tudagub oh, but it's a natural work. 20, so it clears by 8, so, which is a double crit for you. So what is that? 3d4? 4. No, 64. 64? What the fuck? 14. 14. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, you take your maul and you just crack the guy over the head and the warg is just on the ground. The head splits into two. Perfect. Leaks brain juice everywhere. I put some... Yeah. I, uh, I grab some with my finger and put it underneath my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that war paint. Yep, war paint. Gregor looks like he's ready to play football. Yeah. All right, uh, Abigail, the other one. I'm sorry, yeah. Abigail and Brigor. Take your shots. 19. 19, hit. D6 damage. Five. Five. We're you on shoot, the roll. You shoot the one that you already poked at the eye, and you now hit him in the in his paw. He's... <laughs> Quickly, Brigor, miss this one. Good. <laughs> I did it. No problem. <laughs> Gregor continues to do nothing useful. Um, <laughs> the injured... well, I, I, I rolled a one out of a d20. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, the injured warg. How the what? Can he even retreat? I don't think so. Not if they're no, cramped. because they're all behind him, right? Yeah, there's no way for him to retreat. How about he tries? Um, right? He yeah, no, he tries to retreat, but there's nowhere for him to go, and. Um, Vincent gets to kill him. Yeah, no, I think he, he like he turns his back. No, okay, so he, so in the situation, he tries to crawl over his dead friend, but that turns his flank towards both of you. So both Vincent and Brigor, I'm sorry, Vincent and Tadagub get attacks of opportunity on him. D20 plus what? Uh, no, no, uh, no, 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 or not Brigor, Tadagub. Oh, go. okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, plus seven because flank attack is plus one. 
God! Cut <laughs> <laughs> a gum. Uh, 24. You, get a, you don't get plus 7 to hit, Tudagub. Oh, I thought you said you both do. What do I get then? No, no, he still gets 20. I mean. Plus, so it's a total of 20, you still hit him. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Just a 2d4? Yeah. Five. It's fine. He's got one life. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. So you, yeah. he turns to like crawl over his dead friend and you just crack him in the back. Then my hammer starts to glow work. red, right? That's what happens? Fortunately not, but you. You've Fuck. killed two, so you're on a roll here. Okay. Um, There's some blood on it that, that, that makes you feel better. There's a whole pack of wargs behind them that are, like, barking and yipping and, like, trying to get into their place. So two more, as soon as those guys are gone, the two more immediately fill the ranks and take bites at you guys. You know, none of them, neither of them getting close enough to deal any real damage to you, though. All right. So this is kind of just like a chopping mill where you guys stand here yep. and beat wargs as they come towards you. Vincent, once again, attempts to swing his sword. And still fucks it up. Hey, you're getting progressively higher with each roll, yeah. though, so that's good. In a good we'll three back. or four hours, I should be hitting things. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. I it's rolled a like 14. A 14 is a hit. <laughs> magic number, guys. I rolled a four. Four damage. Can I shoot? Sure. 24. 24. You guys are kicking ass. <laughs> When, uh, when did Abigail turn into this? What's going on? Like, I'm a ninja now. Fucking, I've decided to be worth something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 3d6, Abigail. 11. It's not even good, good damage. Oh. What is going on, guys? 3, 6... Soon we'll be taking orders from Abigail. 11. Okay. <laughs> and my you shoot the one in front of Vincent in the, in the back of the neck. Bregor? I'm gonna shoot uh, full HP. Huh. What he means to say is he's gonna do no damage this round. <clears throat> nah, I hit that shit. Against <laughs> all odds. Uh, critical hit. Against all odds? <laughs> <laughs> Just all odds with him. Stacked in your favor, you managed to hit him. So, uh, what? Uh, critical hit 2d8 plus 2. 12. You sink an arrow into the unwounded one, who is still pretty young, uh, and you kill him. He falls to the ground. One shot. Him. One kill. Yep. yep. That's how he does it. All right. Uh, who else? That's everyone it. on your turn. Oh, okay. so did one that's fighting at Vincent continues to bite at him and continues to fail. Uh, the, another one comes to replace the dead one and doesn't can't get over, can't get to Tudagub. Um Right now we're like there's two wolves deep over here. One, no, the, there's yeah, a high, two like, dead on the right. Wargs on one side because one of them tried to get over there to escape, and it's kind of like three dead wargs in you know, like a, a little pile. Another one's crawling on top of it trying to attack Brigor, and one's right next to in front of Vincent, like you know trying to bite at him. Um, and it's party's turn again. Hey, Vincent, okay. should we light the bodies on fire so they take damage coming through? Uh, no. Let me keep missing. For okay. right now, because that fire will also hurt us, and we won't be able to get through there. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Jesus. Day versus death. D20, no modifications, 13 or higher. Oh. Yeah. Um, you slash at the wall and, I don't know, get your sword stuck. Uh, minus, I don't know, you, you, you hit that wall with your hand as you swing at minus two to hit on your next phase. Attack right. roll, I mean. You could do a strength check against the wall. No. Joke's on you, Neil, because I can't hit shit right now anyway, so uh, I can miss the wall next time. That's fine. Yeah, fine. I say, Vincent, about that fire. <laughs> I take a roll. Ten. That's Ten. Miss. miss, miss, miss. That's where we start getting nervous. Actually, with the way things are, I'll have the penalty, and then that'll be the one that I hit on, actually, the way it is. Gregor, Abigail? Twenty-two. Twenty-three. <laughs> yeah. And hits uh, Abigail. Yours is a actually they're both crits. They're both clear by eight. Two d six. Two d six and two d eight plus two. Five. Six. Really? You guys kind of suck. Yeah. Well, at least we're just... hitting shit, you know. It's because yeah. I'm the one that usually deals fucking damage, but right now I'm yeah. missing walls. Okay. Um. Doing the deeps. Wolves turn again. They come up and bite at you guys. Um, the one that one of them gets another. The one that's like standing on his fallen comrades managed to sink his teeth into Tudagub for two. 
which brings you to 27. And this is just like a freaking slaughterhouse here, guys. <laughs> like the other one, bodies. You, know, you're, you keep batting the other one away with its your shield before it can get towards you. Um, player's okay. turn. Let me, uh, so d20 plus 4 with that minus 20, right? Right. Or minus 2, two. rather. See? Do you see what happens? <laughs> <laughs> that's still an 18 that clears by 8, so that's still 3d8 plus 4. Well, that's a that's good it good it has a woken. Plus 5 because of the strength, right? It's 5 because of the strength, which means you kill it in one shot no matter what. <laughs> yeah. You stab, you finally stab a warg in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and a soft glow, a soft orange glow emanates from your sword. Nice. I lean go. down to the brain juice glow, and guys. put some on Vincent's face. <laughs> Did you do anything else in your turn? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's more to kill, right? Oh, yeah, there's one right in front of you. Oh, yeah, let's kill it. 21. Jesus. Hit. Not what the that. hell? What is going like, on? 44 damage. He's not even like barely clearing. He's hitting like 20s That's right now. 10. Left. <laughs> 10. Again, <laughs> you just take your, your maul and you smash another one in the face and its teeth Triple go flying tail. out and it falls to the ground. I, I so, grab my hammer and I put it up to the sky and say, uh, to the one true god, Jexel. <laughs> I like I can't it scream says, uh, <laughs> To the one true god, Drexel. I can't <laughs> scream because my roommate's sleeping. To no. the, uh... <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Up. To the uh, one. <laughs> hey God. Hey God. Uh, this is for you, buddy. <laughs> I got twenty-three. Twenty-four. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Abigail, crit. Brigor, double crit. Eleven. Because these go to eleven. What is double crit? Three uh, D eight. Three D eight. Yeah. Plus two. Fourteen. 14. So the two of you, sh like, so Vincent kills his, um, Tudigub kills his, two more immediately move in to take the place and attack uh, Vincent and Tudigub before one of the one that is near Vincent can even get his, like, teeth into position to attack. You guys, like, shoot him in the face and he just <laughs> crumples to the ground. <laughs> so I just want to paint you guys a little bit of a picture here. We've got this big double doors that have been thrown open. Vincent in his full plate armor, big ass shield, sword in hand. Tudagub wearing chainmail and a loincloth and pink boots <laughs> with a big ass maul, like banging on these wolves as they come, warogs as they come. Archers standing up and behind to the side, shooting in at the door, and you've got two dead wargs, one of them with arrows sticking out of its head, right in front of Vincent. Next to Tudagub, there's a stack of five at this point. Something like that. <laughs> I think there's a stack of five in front of Tudagub. Four or five. They're just kind of like flowing, like, you know, the wargs can't even climb, like, they, they can't stand and still get in and attack at Tudagub right so now. We have like a barricade going on. Yeah. Made out of dead bodies. So they're having trouble getting at, at Vince, at uh, Tudagub because there's just too many freaking wargs in the way. And you hear from inside all sorts of yelling in Goblin of like, you know, none of you guys speak Goblin, so you have no idea what they're saying. And... I guess continual light allows you to see what's inside, and you can see uh, Tudagub and Vincent. You can see inside and see that there are goblins with whips whipping the the wargs and trying to like, pull them back. Um, but in the meantime, the wargs and keep pushing on. Okay. One of them, you know, replaces the fallen one and tries to bite at Vincent, and another one is still like on top of his dead brethren trying to bite at Tudagub. So they come in for more bites. Fail and fail. Yeah, uh, they they can't break. So I get D twenty plus seven now, right? Because of the power. Yes. Yes. Nineteen. Nineteen hit. Uh, D eight plus six now, because I would have got five with the strength, but now six. Yes. Eleven. Eleven. Jesus. We're destroying them. <laughs> yes, yeah. we're doing pretty well now. Okay, you stab him, you slash him through the shoulder and sides, and he just, <laughs> but hangs in there. Tudagub, what are you doing? Uh, so does another one come up, I guess? Yeah. We're going to keep on rolling. Three. <laughs> Natural one. Uh, what is it? Just D20? Yeah, D20, your saving versus death is nine, though. So, nine or higher. 20. Mm. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no. You totally saved that. Can I can I get an attack? 
Another attack oh, rolls yeah. through that. You like slipped it but caught it so deftly that you're like, well, actually. I was so pissed off that I just grabbed yeah. it immediately. It's good. All right. I'm attacking. Go for it. No. No hit. No. Nope. Misses. 25. 25. There we go. That's what's up. Clears by 11, so it's just a, a double uh, double crits of 3d6 damage. Three. But I'm shooting at the one that's well, already hurt. You rolled 2d6. Pull one more oh. d6. Oops. Just one more d6. Plus one. Four. <laughs> to the injured one. <laughs> Which is enough to put it down. Yeah. Somebody yep. called Pita. Pita. So now there's another people. one stacked in front of Vincent. <laughs> <Nonsense. laughs> Five. Okay. Um... Let me just make these notes. Okay. Um, uh, so yeah, the the remaining wargs inside are getting pulled back, except for the one that's left fighting at Tadagub, and it bites at you and hits you, and cr actually criticals you, Tadagub. Damn. Uh, hey. It's okay. Oops, that's the wrong guy. Tadagub, you take two, four, six, eight, nine damage. Okay, what am I at? 20 you or 19? At, you're at 18. 18. All right. Yeah. I'm going to take a swipe at it. Okay, you can get it at it, no problem. 16. 16 is a hit. D8 plus 6. Yeah. 12. 12. So, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Tadagub? Uh, I'm going to cast Withdrawal, and then uh, I'm at 18, you said? 18. 2, 10, 12. I'm going to cast 3 Light Heals. So, 3d8. Mm -hmm. 22. So, that brings you up to... Full, full health. <laughs> way more than full health. Yeah. Way more. So, your full is 33. Yeah, yeah. And then what what's going on inside uh, inside of the cave? Can I see you past see, the body or no? Yeah, you see there are goblins that are like squinting and you know they seem very annoyed at the amount of light they have to deal with. Uh, and they've like whipped a bunch of the the wargs and pulled them back and uh, the goblins are like forming up in this area uh, right here. They're all like wearing leather armor and they've got spears out. A couple of them have uh, shields with maces in their hand. But there's like a, a wall of guys with spears um, and then some other guys standing behind them. What's going and, on behind uh, us? That, there's the one warg that's still biting at you guys. Behind you are just two elves and a wall and some hills. Okay. All right, cool. Um, well, the elves still get their shot this round. Right, right. All right. <clears throat> I'm getting excited. It's so good. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen is a not a crit. It's the only Just one D six, right? One D six. 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 You I look up and I say for for his god. Yeah. Um Okay. The The last warg makes a frantic pounce at Tudagub and does manage to hit him. Again, oh, 15 AC is not doing too well for two damage. I'll let it happen. I'll take a swing at it. <laughs> okay. 17. Hit. D8 plus six. He's dead. He's dead. One. Yes. And I power up again. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. It grows oranger. So no more wargs are coming at us? Uh, right. There's a, a faint red glow <clears throat> around your sword now. Changed from orange Sweet. to red. Um, no more wargs. Everyone, all they, they've all been pulled back. There's a stack of bodies in front of Tadagub that makes it impossible to move through unless you like push them aside and crawl over them. Um, there's a couple of wargs dead in front of Vincent, which again make it difficult to enter the cave due to the enorm the, the quantity of bodies. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick the bodies down in front of me and say, "Take your shot, elves." Yeah, I'm doing the same. I'm pulling the bodies out of the way. Okay. Um, the elves, you are currently standing on a wall, so you can shoot over Vincent. Um, so you have to get off the wall to come on in. Okay. All right. Can we still attack? Yeah. 
So, you know, Tuttergub grabs a couple of wolves, pulls them towards you guys, or kicks them over or something. Uh, Vincent, and they, they step out of the way, and you guys can get shots in at the goblins inside. All right. 25! Holy shit. <laughs> um, 18. 3d6? Uh, 13 AC, so you clear by 12, which is, yeah, it's still a triple. 3D6. So 3d6. 10. 10. Kill. Uh, Aha! Bre- uh, just a hit. No critical. D8 plus 2. So you kill the warg, like another warg that's getting no, pulled six. back? The oh, goblin. Yeah. And Brigger drops the goblin as well. Okay, I'm gonna run in. 